Hello everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach, and today we're going to take a brief intro look into Adobe Lightroom. Adobe makes several products uh, that are great for photo processing. Uh, this one in particular we're going to look at is, I uh, can open up here, um, and this one is really good I think for a combination of photo management and basic to intermediate editing, uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Alright, so I've got it open here on my screen. And for starters, what I need to do is I need to bring in some pictures that I'm going to work with. You can kind of see other things I've done here. So I'm going to import from my computer and choose my source, uh, which will be on my desktop here. There's a folder with some textures and pattern samples I'm going to do. Okay, so I select all those. It could be more or less of these. So you can see the check marks here um, where you can individually select, but I'm just going to bring all of those in. And so that whole folder is now connected to Lightroom. And uh, so if I were to make changes to pictures or the, this folder itself, it's going to change that on my actual computer as well. Uh, so I have right now the library panel open, and it's just to kind of be able to see everything. You can adjust the size of your thumbnails there with the plus and minus buttons. And um, what I really like about this is you can do different types of filtering uh, with your pictures. So uh, what you might want to do is just pick out your favorites, maybe my 10 favorite pictures out of this batch, and then just work on those. And it's kind of distracting if everything stays there. So let's say this one is one of my favorites. I'm going to rate it as a one star by hitting the one number, uh, number key there. And then maybe my lockers here, that's another one. I'm just going to go through and mark a few others. Let's see, maybe one of the shoes will be a one. And we'll get one of the rings in there. Um, that grid. Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and do maybe one more. Let's do the orange. Okay. All right. And it shows you that it's setting the rating as you do that. And so right now I've got all 40 pictures. It shows you 40 pictures there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter based off of the rating. And right now, I'm going to click on the one star, find it twice there, and this is going to show me everything that is greater than or equal to a one. I can rate higher than a one, so maybe this is my absolute favorite, and I give it two stars. Okay, and so right now, because two is greater than one, clearly, then it's going to show all of those. I can filter based off of a specific rating, so if I just want all my ones, I can do that, and so forth. So, uh, okay, so once I have this sorted and filtered, then I can do some basic editing. The great thing about Adobe Lightroom editing is that it is non-destructive, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna go over to the, to the develop panel right here and just look at this first picture. Okay, so um, I think it's lined up really well, composition's not bad, but maybe I wanna crop in, crop in a little bit. I'm gonna click on this crop overlay here, and notice it said overlay, so I'll show you kind of why that's important. And I want it to be a lot tighter, maybe something like that. I'm going to hit enter, and that is my new edit. The thing about Lightroom is that it's not going to just automatically save this as my new picture. The way it's basically set up is my original picture is still on the computer, and Lightroom has its own category, or we'll call it a catalog, that's what they call it, of edits that are overlaying, they're overlapping on this image. And so it's not a destructive type of edit. And so I have that one I edited. Let's say I want to go in and get a little bit closer to this ring. Oh, went too far. There's my ring right there. And so I'm going to do the same thing, crop overlay, and bring it in. Maybe I want it to be a little off balance there, right? There we go. So I've done that one. I've done my cropping. You can do a little bit of rotating in there as well. So I'm going to take this shoe, click on the same tool, and then come down to a corner and I can rotate a little bit. This is just for minor rotations here, okay? So if you really want to rotate your picture um, because it's got to go 90 degrees, maybe it's turned out horizontal when you really wanted vertical, then this isn't the tool you're going to use. You're going to go up to photo and then rotate left or right. So those are what you're going to do to rotate them completely, okay? All right, so along with your basic cropping and rotating, you can adjust your exposure and shadows and contrast, and so you can do some nice basic editing there. 
There we go. I think that's actually not bad. Add a little bit of brightness to it. Increase my contrast. My saturation, I think, is really good. That red shows well. So I'm not going to really mess with a whole bunch of this. Um, but I'll go back and I'll show you. You can drop shadows and just like the blacks or the whites. And your color casting can also be adjusted as well. So if you're familiar with uh, white balance or you're not familiar with white balance, if you get a photo that's completely off, um, maybe it's yellowish or something like that, and you didn't intend for that, uh, you can make some adjustments here. That's the WB for white balance right there. Okay, so this is a pretty good run through on some basics, what you can do in Lightroom. Uh, the beauty about Lightroom that you can't really do in some other programs is once you edit one photo, you can synchronize that to several others. So if I really, really do a batch of photos and I just want to make them all similar, I can take my initial, my master, if you will, and click on that one first. And then I'm going to hold the control button and say, I want to do the same edits to this one. Uh, not that one. I did a crop on that one. Let's do this one and then also the locker. Okay, so I'm going to do a shortcut for that, which is shift control S. And then I get this panel for synchronized settings. And I can synchronize everything or just certain areas, which is brilliant. And so I'm going to just tell it to do everything the same. Hit synchronize. And there you go. I did those exposure changes on all of the photos that I that I selected. Once I'm done, I need to save these edits to something that I can actually keep as a picture. So I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to go to File, Export right here. And then I can export it to the hard drive. So this is actually saving new pictures, not actually overwriting the originals. And I can choose where I'm going to put it. Maybe I put it on my desktop and I make a new folder that says edits. Um, actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find my original folder, which is right here, textures and patterns, do a new folder and call that edits. Enter and then select that folder. You can also rename them. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here, but just for time's sake, I'm going to kind of move on. Quality is set well. And even if you wanted to watermark yours, you could do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a watermark on this. There we go. And I'm going to export. I see a little progress bar up here. One, two, here we go. And it looks like it's done. So I'm going to check it really quickly. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my desktop textures and pattern samples and here's my edits right there okay it's got my watermark on there and these are the cropped adjusted pictures from my original folder all right hopefully you have enjoyed this brief look into adobe lightroom um, if you did please make sure that you comment below you subscribe i will be doing a lot of these along with some other uh, reviews of products and also just some photo challenges, something to get you guys um, working with your cameras and not just watching what someone else is doing. All right, so that's it. This is Corey with Camera Coach signing off. Have a great day.